Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Las Crucias channel. Okay, let's see what we got here. It says write a program that simulates the movements of a robot in the plane. By default, the robot is located at the origin, initial speed is 1 and the direction is right. Hmm. You must implement the following methods, turn right, turn left, increase speed, decrease speed, move it, and the method that gives the position of the robot in the plane. Ok, if we suppose that our robot is a point in the plane. Ok, we've got a Cartesian coordinate system. It has two axes, X and Y. And the point where they meet is the origin and that's the position of our robot at the beginning. Our robot has a speed, it is 1, but the speed is number of unit of length that our robot makes while moving. We also have to implement methods like turn left or turn right. But what happens if our robot turn right, for example? It changes directions of movement. So we have to find out what is the new one. But to be able to find out what is the new, we must know what was the previous one. For example, if direction is right, when our robot turns right, the new direction will be down. Ok, let's go back. We need main method, just tap type main, control space, space. Man, what happened? Hmm. 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 Main method. Eh, that's okay. Okay. So, the robot is point and it has two coordinates. Write it int x and y. And we also have speed. And we have one string variable, it is direction. Ok, in the main method we need instance of our class. So we'll say robot a new robot. At this moment default constructor should be called source generate constructor using fields ok no 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 because we need default constructor ok here we got it I don't like it to be here just cut and paste here ok at the beginning x equals y equals 0 Speed is 1 and direction by default is right. Ok, we need to implement methods, turn right, we just say R turn right. Ok, we've got here error, just get the mouse at this place and choose create method turn right. Ok, what we said? We said that our robot will change the direction of movement. So we must find out what was the previous one. So we will have an if condition and says if direction equals equals because we compare strings right so if the reference direction equals right when our robot turn right the new direction will be down else 
directions equals down then our robot turn right the new direction will be left else direction was left the new directions will be up else direction is right okay that would be all for this video thanks for watching see you in the next one